So maybe as you set it up, you can kind of briefly just describe. No. Uh, what, what do you want that camera for? I don't want to talk. You sure? I just need to do it. I mean, he was, you know, always, you know, saying, I want you to go away from the mainstream. He doesn't have a big team. He, he's pretty much does this himself. So I've been planning this eclipse for about three months. I've got an hour by hour, minute by minute, second by second timeline of what needs to be done. It's about the journey, traveling to the eclipse, setting up for the eclipse, experiencing the eclipse, whether you actually see it or whether you get clouded out. Jeff is facing a, a, a difficult situation because it's very expensive to chase these solar eclipses. I just wish there was a magic wand that would allow him to get compensated for the efforts he puts into this. Certainly with a operation like going to Svalbard, it's not cheap. I don't know, these guys are talking about eclipses coming up in the next 30 years and whether or not they'll be alive. We're going to be alive and we're going to and be how there. many cameras Jeff will use? A total solar eclipse is, you know, really something different. It changes you when you see it. When you see something like that, the next question is of course obvious. When can I see the next one and where can I see the next one? I need to see another one. This quest always takes you to new places. Available now on Video On Demand.